why are ICTVD projects at risk of failure and what can be done to mitigate those risks? A key explanation of risk is the size of gap between ICTVD project design and the contextual realities into which the project is introduced. The greater the gap between design and reality, the greater the risk of failure. Archetypes of ICT4D failure include hard soft gaps where an ICT4D system designed on the basis of technical rational worldview is introduced into a much more politicized reality. Country context gaps where an ICT4D design uh, for one country context is introduced into the different contextual reality of another country. And sectoral gaps where an ICT4D system designed for the private sector is introduced into the different reality of the public or the NGO sector. How then to avoid too large a gap between design and reality? The principles for digital development or the ict for d project implementation principles that I discussed in the previous video will help here by closing gaps between design and reality. Involving users puts designers in touch with user realities. Iteration reduces the extent of difference between design and reality in any given cycle and so on. But I'm also going to give some additional prescriptions. The first is to undertake design reality gap analysis during implementation. Using a checklist like the POSMO dimensions shown here, you evaluate the differences between design and reality and take action on large gaps. This might mean changing design, for example, making greater use of existing data and technology or automating existing processes rather than also re-engineering them. Or it might mean changing reality, using incentives to change stakeholder motivations or undertaking training to build user skills. Second, risk must be balanced against reward. A zero risk project will be one in which there is no gap between design and reality, but no gap means no change and no change means no development. So there is a risk reward trade off. Bigger the design reality gap, the greater the risk, but also maybe the greater the degree of development. So ICT for the projects often face a decision to attempt a lower risk incremental improvement in well-being or a higher risk transformation that truly empowers. Lastly, Inscription describes the way in which particular assumptions are written into the design of new technologies. You can think of this as a continuum. At one end are reality supporting technologies which contain relatively shallow inscriptions. They impose few assumptions or requirements. Voice calling on a mobile phone would be an example. At the other end are design imposing technologies which contain relatively deep inscriptions. They impose a number of assumptions or requirements. A decision support system would be an example. It requires an objective data set, formal decision and management processes, a high level of skills, an assumed rationality of culture and more. And not surprisingly, Reality supporting technologies are associated with fewer ICT for D risks, but maybe fewer rewards. And conversely, design imposing technologies are associated with higher ICT for D risk, but maybe higher rewards as well. If you'd like to know more, then take a look at the ICT for D textbook. And thank you for watching.